Yo, what is going on guys? It is me, Canadian Policy, back with another video. And in today's video, we are doing 110 overall Luka Doncic gameplay. So before we get into it, I'd like to give some shout-outs. So shout-out to Joey Lucas, Adair Lopez, and Austin Lee. He said in the comments it's not Lee, it's it's L-E-I, but sorry, I did not know how to pronounce that. There's a ton of different pronunciations. So yeah, guys, if you guys want to shout-out, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And in the comment section below, say subscribed, and I'll give you guys a shout-out. <clears throat> So, yeah, Luka Doncic gameplay, yeah, his stats are broken. He actually has a 110 three-point shot. Actually, I think he has a 111 three-point shot, to be honest. Um, So his stats are pretty insane. He's going to have a 121 three-point shot, and that's not even me trying to, like, boost his three-point shot all the way up. I did also open up a 109 select pack, and the two positions I didn't really need I got, which was this KD and um, a 109 uh Victor Oladipo. The the thing is that I actually like about these trade up sets is with the Damian Lillard, he only gave a boost if he was active. So if Luca goes on the bench, he'll still go get a nice boost to the team as well as these trade up sets masters. These should just be active boosts, but now they are bench <clears throat> excuse me, boosts as well. Um so yeah, if you guys are wondering what the positions are for um like what cards you can get out of the one and nine select pack. The cards that you can get is, um, for the point guard, we have um, Sabrina Ionescu, who's like the first overall pick into the WNBA draft. Um, yeah, Sabrina, and then she was a 102 from the Welcome to New York campaign, now she's a 109. Shooting guard is that Victor Oladipo, he was a 103 from the Blockbuster double feature and then now he's a 109 small forward, as you guys saw, was that KD. Um, power forward was a Vin. I can't remember his name. It was like Vin. He's a power forward, though. Can't remember his name. Um, and then center, we have a Yao Ming. He was from the... Uh, the well, what promo was it from? It was like from the... I don't know. I can't remember. But it was a 103 Yao Ming. So now he's a 109, which is nice. Luka Doncic, I don't know how he missed that shot by that much. But Luka Doncic is a beast, as you guys can see. Ooh, okay. Dude, this John Collins, I swear, gets every board. I am not kidding. Oh, Luka with the off-ball movement, we have to hit one of these shots. Oh, that's money. That... Okay, I know I'm messing up the timing a little bit, but still, just a 10% boost shouldn't change the outcome of a shot by too much. Okay, we gotta take smart shots here. That should go in. There we go. Okay, Luka Doncic finally hits that shot. This Luka Doncic is insane. Um, yeah, when I saw literally, I hopped on, and then the news pop automatically hops up every time you hop on it into a new day. And then I see that trade up set logo. I'm like, let's go. And I literally was holding my breath, and then I opened it, and then I see a 110 Luka Doncic. And I'm like, go straight over to sets, claim him, and uh, well, you have to put in two 109s, a 108. Uh, 15, 100 to 109s, 50, yeah, I think it's 50, yeah, 50, 90 to 99s, and then, uh, 30 trade chips, which isn't too much, to be honest, I literally got him on the first day, as well as, oh, Luka Doncic with the off-ball movement, a wide, dude, it literally was on Luka when I pressed him, but Luka is going to retreat and splash that. Usually with the trade upset masters, they do have dunk animations. But I've already tried. This Luka does not have dunk animations. Reasonably why, Luka is not really a dunker. That Sabrina um, is an insane card. Besides a her dunk, which is understandable. Um, because women are naturally, uh, don't have like testosterone and stuff like that. So yeah, there's I think been... 21 dunks in WNBA history um but yeah dunking it doesn't really matter in my opinion because like no matter how bad the dunk is it's so rare for the dunk to like not go in it does happen every so often like I did um I did Giannis I think it was a 109 Giannis 108 boosted to 109 he had like a 112 115 actually and he missed the dunk and I'm like really he actually missed the dunk but I mean dunk doesn't really matter Usually with your point guards, depending on the kind of player you are, you don't dunk a lot. I'm the kind of player that just gives it to my best shooting shooter, goes into the like the corner, and then just shoots the ball. Surprisingly, Luca missed it right there. Um, but yeah, I was super pumped when I got the 109 trade upset. 
Um, so right when I when I saw a guy make like a video opening, I think it was Blast. Uh, he made a video on like claiming 109 select pack as pack opening as well. And then I see the Sabrina. He checks out the stats. I'm like, oh, shoot it. Okay, I don't think we got it off in time. Please tell me that goes in and it counts. Dang it. Okay, it did not go in. Wait, no way we lost. How did we lose? Dude, we were destroying that game. Luca's hitting everything. I don't remember them scoring 13 points. I don't know. But yeah, um, first quarter, Luca does do okay. Yeah, of course we lose. Okay, yeah. I don't care about dust tokens. Don't care about that either. Don't care about fans. Because I did not grind showdown. Um, usually I just play showdown for like, I don't know, when I'm bored and I get a new card and I just want to check him out, see how he plays. Um, but yeah, my squad's looking pretty nice. Definitely need a center. And I'm going to open up that another 109 trade upset. Um, so yeah, here it is, front office. For my uh, trade upset, I did end up putting in for this Doncic my 109 Zion and my, who's the other 109? Oh, and my 109 Jimmy Butler, I put in Bam out of bio, and then, yeah. Um, as you guys see, I did complete this one time. There's a four-day cooldown, which sucks. I put in all the cards, so right when it opens back up, I can do it again. Okay, so we're up against a 107. Hopefully, we do not lose our quarter, um, because if you lose your quarter, it's kind of game over, unless you're playing, like, a trash overall team like a 105 overall not saying to all you guys who are 105 overalls but like i mean usually people are 105 just started the game luca has range and a half but he can't hit the shot which is a problem like i mean if you have a really long range but you can't actually hit the shot that's not good but luca can hit that shot every day he has a 121 three that's insane right there um i haven't really been testing out anything else but usually my gameplay videos i just take dumb shots the whole time you know what i'm actually gonna do Oh, I'm surprised Kevin Garnett didn't rip it right there. Oh, he should have shot that right there. Cow high, Leonard. Ooh, right from the spot where he, uh, I'm a Toronto Raptors fan, as you guys can probably see with my uh, logo. But, yeah, I did end up buying one of those super coaches for, I think, $4 million. Buy now $4 million, which is pretty nice. I am also one I'm literally one of those purple things away from completing the super coach set, which is nice. I'm going to automatically sell them because I already have one. Yeah, it's no really point in having two of them. I want to see which ones there are. I'm definitely going to go, I think, for the Steve Kerr with the sharpshooter three-point accuracy because that one, I, it seems like, goes for the most. I checked out the jerseys and the courts to see which goes for the most. All of them seem to go around for $4 million, but I think people want the coaches more than, like, a 60 XP boost with the court. Like, I mean, who wants XP boost? I mean, it's nice to have XP so you can, like, level up faster. Three, what is LeBron doing? What are you doing, LeBron? What are you doing, man? Dude, I thought LeBron was a good player, but clearly not in NBA Live. Dude, I swear every Curry card's insane. Oh, he has range. He has range. What? Come on, Luca. Like, seriously. There's some of those cards that, like, have unlimited range, but they can't actually hit the shot. Like, did you see it, guys, there? There's, like, a full bar. Pass it to Kevin Garnett, and someone get on him. This Tyler Harrow is a nice card as well. Um, shout out to Ultimate Buck, because, like, Tyler Harrow is my probably favorite NBA player. He's going to hit that, isn't he? Um, and when I saw him do, like, Tyler Harrow golden ticket game plan, I'm like, let's go. And then he literally just uploaded right when I was giving the shout outs. Um... I just memorized the names because, obviously, I don't have two devices. So, um, I just memorized the names, and then I went on to my subscriptions, and look at that. Buck posted a video, 110 Luka Doncic gameplay, one minute ago. I'm like, let's go. Um, on Danny Awesome's new video, uh, on the, what was it called? It was opening a 108 trade upset pack. Um, I was surprisingly first. Yeah, I was first. There was literally... 20 people that said first, but proof that mine was first. Mine said 19 seconds ago. Some other dude says 18 seconds ago. Two, one. Oh, that should go in. What? Dude, how is it a contest? Literally on the edge of the key, 121 three, and he doesn't hit it. I mean, he still hit 12 points, but Luca, come on, man. I mean, usually I don't really play with my team. Like, I don't really pass it to my centers. Usually I just want for centers, like, um, Someone that can shoot the ball. Sorry, someone that can rebound. I don't care about any other stats. 
Um, but yeah, guys, that is going to do it for the video. 110 overall Luka Doncic gameplay. Subscribe to the channel if you guys want to show it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.